Hello and welcome back to Wholesome Belly's Kitchen, My Little Slice of Heaven. Today you are in for an absolute treat because I'm going to take you through one of my favorite desserts. Are you ready? The pretzel espresso chocolate tart. Oh my God, coffee and chocolate together is a dream and the salty pretzels, it's amazing. So follow along and then grab all the ingredients and cook with me another time. And here are our ingredients, our coconut oil, medjool dates, pretzels, two shots of espresso, our delicious almond butter, maple syrup, chocolate, we're using Calabolt, a delicious vegan high quality chocolate, and our silken tofu. So we are going to start by making our base. So make sure that you have yourself a um, tarting like this. I line it with paper, it's just easy to get it out. This is a no-bake cake, pop it in the fridge, it's super easy. You will need a blender of some sort. We're gonna make the base and pop into here our, oh, all of those pretzels. Um, the jewel dates, we have eight of those, nice and juicy seeds out. Um, we have our coconut oil, um, pop that in there to help melt that down. Then um, just pop in your almond butter or you can use peanut butter. So we're just going to get all of that goodness in there. Yum, yum. And we're going to pop that into our blender. So anything like this. Now you want this to be um, like a sticky crumb. I'll show you. Pretzels can be quite dry and it depends on the type of date to use as well. So at the moment, if we have a look at our mixture, you will see that it is not quite crumbly enough. So to avoid popping in more oil into there, we're just gonna pop in a little bit of water and give that a bit more of a blend. If it's still a bit dry, maybe throw in another date, a little bit more almond butter, just a little bit more sticky so we can get that um, nice and uh, to form a nice sticky base. All right, let's have a look, push that all down. I wanna have a look at that again. And just feel with your hands, if you can get that into a ball, so that's still a little bit dry, then you're ready to go. Otherwise, pop in a bit more um, almond butter. I'm gonna pop in just a little bit more almond butter just to um, help that come together. So one, up, one more tablespoon will do it and we'll give that another little blend. Okay, so let's have a look now at this situation. We can get that into a nice crumb. I can comfortably roll that into a ball. That is ready to go. So grab your tray, no need to grease it. Just pop it in as is and we're going to lay this out into our tray. Okay. Now, if you want to go up the sides, you can. Depends how much mixture you have. I like to have quite a thick base, so I'm just going to leave mine all along the bottom. But if you want to make the pretzel all around the side, you can just make a little bit extra and pop that up the side. So I want you to pat it down really firmly so that this base sticks together because we don't want to cut it once it's set and have that all crumbly apart. So it's really important to make sure that it is um, really nicely stuck together. We don't want it crumbly or when we cut it, it will all fall apart. So we have our base. We're gonna pop that in the fridge and we're gonna make the um, chocolate mousse. This is the best part. To make our mousse, we're gonna grab uh, the blender again, clean it up, and we're going to pop into the blender our entire block of silken tofu. Do not use firm, it has to be silken. That's that soft kind of jelly one. Um, we're gonna pop in our two shots of espresso coffee. There we go. Our delicious maple syrup, half a cup of that. And then I have melted down our beautiful dark chocolate. Um, we're going to pop that in here. 
Now, if you're using a, um, a darker chocolate, this one's only 55%, like the, a Linden or something like that, you will want to maybe um, add a little bit more sweetener. Depends how you like it. Um, it will be richer the darker the chocolate. So if you like it nice and rich, then go dark. Okay, so there we have our lovely mixture. We're gonna get that into our blender and whiz that up. I mean, how easy is this dessert? Okay. Now, if you haven't made a dessert with silk and tofu, what you need to be careful of is just give it a good mix and look out for any white lumps of tofu because what happens when that sets, you will see the white lumps. And if you were trying to fool a non-vegan, uh, you don't want them to find any tofu. Trust me, they will not know there is tofu in this. So I'm going to just give that another whiz. Now, if you're not a fan of coffee, just leave it out. You don't need to put it in. Um, hazelnut works lovely, a nice hazelnut extract instead of the coffee or just chocolate. Now this will set in the fridge uh, nice and firm, just like that silk and tofu. So there's no need for any agar or a gelatin-like substitute, no thickeners. Um, the tofu will just set in the fridge. So let's grab our cake and we're going to pour that, oh my gosh, all over. And we're just going to spread it all out. Oh my gosh. There you have it. Keep it in the fridge um, until it's set. So it might take a couple of hours. Best dessert, make it the day before you need it, even two or three days, it'll keep for a while. This is great in the freezer. Sometimes I make it in a, like a, a slice tin, set it, cut it into little squares in the freezer. And you know what? You have that cup of tea at night and you need something sweet, this will sort you out. <laughs> it is so good. Here is our delicious chocolate mousse cake. Let's cut a slice. Are we ready? Check that out. So good. I'm not even gonna grab a plate. I'm just going to. I like this. Mm. Can you see that? That is heaven along with this. Cheers.